Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. I want to talk today about how minimalism has impacted how I deal with time. So for me, and I know a lot of other people, minimalism is about so much more than just the stuff you own. It is a mindset, it is a journey, it is about consciously adding and subtracting things from your life. And so it's been really incredible for me personally to see how this has evolved to impact so many different aspects of my life, including time and how I manage my time, which is really odd to think about, but it has. And there has been a noticeable difference in my motivation, my productivity, and my focus since going on this path. <laughs> When I first started Femhead back in 2015, and really the two years leading up to that, I didn't have a planner, didn't own one. I always had one in school, but since I had graduated, I was like, there's no need for me to have a planner. So I didn't have one. I eventually got a generic little planner from the drugstore, but I didn't really use that for anything other than writing down my work schedule for my few different jobs I had. It was just so I could look and be like, this is where I'm supposed to be today. <laughs> Then I graduated to a fancy planner. It was like a $60 planner and I was super excited about it. And I was like, I'm gonna be so organized and so focused. I'm gonna get so much done. But I found that I felt compelled to fill up the page because you had an entire page for your to-dos. And I had to write down every little thing that I could possibly get done that day. And then I would get like, not overwhelmed by it, but I would always end up doing the very simple tasks as we all do because they were easy. And then I'd be like, I got so much done today, but really I didn't get anything done that was going to help me excel in the world. I didn't really hone in onto my time management, focus, motivation, productivity world until I discovered bullet journals. And side note, I had no idea. There was this giant subculture on YouTube and online of people and bullet journals and planner systems and it is mind blowing. And I think the decision to keep my bullet journal very minimal helped me in the long run. There are so many cute, cool ways that you can decorate and like doodle and do your planner and your bullet journal. But I was like, I just wanna keep it to the bare minimum to what I have to do. And that's kind of where minimalism came into play, like just what I need. So there's a lot that goes into planning and goals and that sort of stuff. And I have another video on that, which I will put up here and link in the description box. But every morning I plan out what my day of work is going to look like. And I keep that to usually four to six tasks, the most important tasks, the things that are going to get you where you wanna get in life. That's what I focus my day on. And then I kind of have a second tier to-do list of just a couple things that if I get my actual to-do list done, then I can take a look at those. But those aren't as crucial as my must-dos. The only things that go into my planner are work-related tasks as well as events or if I'm going to be somewhere else. Now our time obviously extends past work. Everyone works different hours and I find that I naturally just work like nine to five, that's just what works out for me. But that doesn't account for the two to three hours before work and the five to six hours after work. My morning is my time. It is my time to do things that I wanna do, things that are going to nourish me and set me up for a good day, I suppose. So I always go through my morning routine of tidying up the house, getting ready, having a cup of coffee, journaling, and now my mornings include a morning run. It might sound boring, but these are just the things that set me up to have a good day. And then during the workday, I'll usually take a break around like two o'clock to either do yoga or meditation when I just need like a little brain break from things. Or I will go out and run an errand if I just need to like step away from what I'm working on. And then in the evenings, I kind of just do what I want to do. But that's the key, what I want to do. If I get invited to something that I really have no interest in going to, I will say thanks, but no thanks, and I won't feel bad or guilty about it. And what I do at night depends on my mood and kind of my overarching goals of stuff I want to get accomplished outside of work. So for example, I'm working on decluttering a few different areas of my home, and I find that after work is a good time to do that. My nights could also include going out to dinner or drinks with friends, watching a movie, or just hanging out at home. And my piece of advice here is take some time to like sit down and think about the things that make you feel good, that make you happy, things you wanna accomplish, and make time for those things. It's very easy for us to just like fall into the trap of, 
I'm done with work, like I'm just gonna veg out. I'm gonna watch Netflix. But I encourage you and I challenge you to not do that. Go outside, socialize with friends, and do things that are going to better you as a person as well as nourish you. You know, there are days that are just blah and we need to do nothing and we need to veg out, but don't make that your everyday routine. Do what is going to benefit you in the long run. That is what I have to say about how minimalism has affected how I spend my time and I really truly do believe that, I can see it, and it has been a very positive impact. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!